Yo, what's up guys? It's your DJ here. I just wanted to make a quick little update that I found pretty interesting. And that is, um, well, if anyone's interested in running KH original for the PS2, and you guys have struggled with your saves because of the whole tedious aspect of trying to go to Anson 1, Anson 2, etc. Like those type of fights, especially Maleficent. I found a much easier process. However, when it comes to that, there is a procedure that you have to go through. And not only that, you have to um, get a specific hardware. So this PS2, as you see right here, this is a 90K PS2. Doesn't matter what PS2 it is. What you need to have is um, you need to have a, uh, a modded PS2. This PS2 right here, this has a mod chip inside. It has the 5.0 mobile uh, mod chip inside, so it's able to read burn games. So when it comes to that, um, one thing you need to have is uh, uh, some kind of cheat device. So use a program called Image Burn. I'll provide the ISO and the link. Uh, but basically what it is is you use a, a cheat device. Uh, I'm using Codebreaker. It's uh, it's just a... Game, think of it as like action replay or game chart. So basically what you do is you have a modded PS2. Um, I believe it works with, PS, with BC PS3 also if you have one. But anyways, um, you just insert it right here. And then it's going to read the disc. Now, just keep in mind you need to have a modded ps2 in order for you to do this so right now it's going to load the game not the game but the the rom um so it's going to show that it's going to show you know that kind of aspect um so what's going to do it's going to load a whole bunch of cheats depending what game you want so it's going to say some some uh, some stuff it just says oh get more you know it's um it's just the code breaker software so right now it's loading cheats and uh, what you do is you select cheats. Hold on, let me get a good angle. So you go to select cheats. There's a whole bunch of games. Um, we're gonna go to Kingdom Hearts because this is basically a little extra tutorial for you guys because since I discovered this, I wanted to share the knowledge so it could be you know, in the database with uh, speedruns.com and stuff for the guides. Uh, so we're gonna go find the ROM. Uh, keep this in mind, this only works for English and not for PAL or NTSCJ. I am working on getting an NTSA, NT, uh, a Japanese version of uh, Codebreaker or Action Replay. So uh, I believe after, if you know this procedure, you should be able to, um, to, I'm not thinking correctly, to, you know, to access your cheat the kind of the same ways that I'm doing right now. So you just select X, right? And then we're gonna go to the most, the one that matters the most, save, uh, press start to save menu. So you're gonna select that save. Thank you! Ah, oh, excuse me. Uh, you're gonna select that save. There's other saves too, but that doesn't matter. So just remember to select this specific save. It says press start to save menu. So we're gonna press start. And then you're gonna st uh, start the game. It's gonna say start the game. And then it's going to load. It says, please insert the game disc and then press X to continue. So what we're going to do, uh, let me just adjust the camera again. So we just take it out, right? Take this out. And put it back in the case. And we're going to use original uh, Kingdom Hearts 2. Uh, Kingdom Hearts 1, I'm sorry. Yeah, the original, right? Black Label. All that good stuff. So we're gonna put it in here. It's gonna read it, press X to continue, and now it's gonna boot the game. So let me just show you that screen real quick. Now it's booting the game. It's gonna boot up the game, and then it's gonna have the, avail avail of the availability to save uh, Cheats on pause. So right now I have a, a memory card, right? I'm gonna put it in the PS2. So as you can see that. Let me put some volume so you guys can hear. So let me just tone it down a bit so you guys can hear me, right? We're gonna load. And I'm gonna show you an example of how the save will work. 
So I'll let it load some saves. We're gonna go to a, the most annoying uh, fight. So if you look at here, you know how it says homecoming, camp, um, homecoming again? These are specific fights. So we're gonna go to something uh, difficult to make saves for. So Ansem, right? We're gonna select that save. Keep in mind, you could do the same procedure on emulator. It does work. Um, but I'm not going to show you how to do that because I don't got time for that. So, look, I just loaded a save and it just played that cutscene right then and there. That is marvelous. I'm saving buttloads of time, right? Now, if I select here, look at that. I'm able to save immediately. Right now, my saves are basically full because I took advantage of this, so I can't save anywhere. Uh, I don't have new, no new save files to save, but I have the availability to um, to save basically anywhere. So this saves a butt ton of time um, when it comes to uh, making saves for KH1, for KH1, the PS2 version. So for Kingdom Hearts English, if you have a modded PS2 uh, with the chip in, uh, installed inside, either a 50K or it doesn't matter what model as long as you have a modded ps2 that is able to play burn games you could do this in real time with actual hardware and this is basically proof i will show you another save um i'm going to show you a different one right i'm going to show you a, a, a good a good example so we're going to go to castle gates this is the fight before riku now look at this Look at that. I'm in the fray. Right then and there. There you go. Look at that. Cutscene's already activated. Just like that. I just saved at least an extra two minutes. So it'll make your saves a lot easier. So that's great. I'm going to do one more so you can see how, you know, how it works. And it works with any save. It works with any save. If you guys don't have a modded PS2 for whatever reason, I could take a save and just export it uh upload the file just for you guys so i'll probably do that in speedruns.com so this is the last save that i'm going to show you i'm just showing you key points of um of fights that are kind of you know kind of kind of tedious to go to so guard armor look i'm already here have access to save i can save anywhere it works the only thing bad about this is that once you turn off the console and power it on again, it won't boot. It won't boot the, the save sheet. So I'm gonna show you. Now I'm gonna turn off the PS2, right? I'm gonna turn it off. All right? I'm gonna boot up again. I'm gonna boot up the PS2. Don't worry about that, that's just modded stuff. It's gonna boot the game just as normal. And I wanna show you this in real time that I'm not editing or doing anything funky. So. I know in the past there has been, you know, Game Shark saves and things like that, but. A lot of it has been displayed through through um through emulator, but I wanted to showcase it on actual hardware and that it does work. And if it works on emulator, it should work on the actual console. So right now I'm gonna load the exact same save that I just last loaded. Right? Let's go here. And now look at this. Look at that. I turn off, I reboot the PS2. I do, not ha I, I do not have access to the cheats anymore because I rebooted the console, but look, this is living proof that I could save anywhere. So uh, that's pretty cool, and uh, that's about it. So, uh, so yeah, hopefully you guys like it. Peace.